Orientalism found its way into European culture a long time ago. For many hundred years, the Far East and North African regions have been fascinating European artists and writers. Napoleon Bonaparte was eager to conquer North Africa and the Eastern Mediterranean. He was nearly obsessed with it and initiated the broad research and artistic processing of these regions. Since then, political missions were accompanied by so-called savants, artists among other who should record every impression meticulously. Besides official representations, some artists had their very own vision and dreams of the mystical Orient, some including harems and hashish smoking. In this course you see particular examples of how artists travel to and perceive the Orient. We will also get to know the critical perspective on Orientalism and will be looking from today's perspective. Especially Edward Said, a scholar who laid foundation to the field of post-colonial studies, criticized the European definition of the Orient harshly. Art in this perspective is seen as a mean to represent power political interests. Is that true? You will find out.